Hi everyone, this is Valerie from Carody Technology. Welcome to the introduction of our brand new 2 liter lab model supercritical CO2 extraction machine. Let me show you around. As you can see, it's very compact and delicate. All the pumps, vessels, and pipelines are well placed behind the transparent acrylic sheet so that you can easily keep an eye on the operation status of every machine. Let me introduce to you one by one. First, it's the chiller. It can accurately set the temperature as we need to cool down the CO2 from gas into liquid state and circulate through the system. To be noticed, for small chillers, there's a lid and you can clearly observe the coil and cooling water in it. Then there are the pumps, including CO2 injection pump and co-solvent pump. They rest behind these magnetic cabinet doors. Let's have a look inside. We also call this pump the main pump, as it's like a heart that feeds continuous carbon dioxide into the machine. There's also a small detail. We equipped with a small sink for catching condensate generated during operation. Open the other door, we can see the co-solvent pump and co-solvent tank. For example, we could add ethanol here and it will be pumped into the mixer with CO2, then goes into the extractor. As for co-solvent pump, we also equipped with an electric flow meter to facilitate the control of the co-solvent capacity. Next are the extractor and separator. The 2-liter machine has one extractor and two separators. And this is the material cylinder, all made of stainless steel. Usually comes with an extra one for easy changeover, also with a special holder to lift it more easily. This capacity is 2 liter, about the size of my hand. It's super easy to install. Let me show it to you. First, we need to take it apart. It can be also be made of 316 if you want. Also, it's detachable at both ends. Here's the centering plate and filter plate. Sometimes we use another filter paper or cotton for fine powder extraction. Now let's put it back. It takes less than one minute to finish the whole process. And down here is where we collect the final output. You can see the venting valves of extraction, separation 1 and separation 2. After thousands of experiments, we adopt this kind of curved pipe design to avoid material from flushing. Now let's move forward to the control panel. Right now we are cleaning this machine. You can see that there are a lot of digital sensors on the panel. They can show real-time CO2 flow and pressure for us to better monitor the pressure. Of course, you can also use the control system by the screen to check more detailed records, including the extraction and separation pressure and temperature, the frequency of the main pump, etc. The detailed database can also be exported to a USB flash drive to your computer if needed. The system is also equipped with a real-time curve function, which allows you to clearly observe the trend of pressure and temperature changes. Now let's turn to the back of the machine. This is what it looks like. The cabinet door can also be opened, convenient for heat dispersion. You can see all the pipelines and there's the CO2 flow meter, water tank, CO2 storage tank, and filter tank. It's worth mentioning that we used the traditional water bath heating method, which is relatively more suitable for keeping constant temperature and better control than electronic heating. The area of the coil inside the water tank is one by one with the area of extractor and separator vessel. Fully heat exchange. In addition, we use a insulation protection cover of the water tank heating coil for easy maintenance. As for the electrical control system, we use Schneider and other international recognized brands for more precise control. 
last but not least, the CO2 balloons, which is self-provided, but we have designed this rack for you. You can seal the bottle by the chain in here simply by one hand.